In this project, I'm going to show you how to create a floral arrangement very similar to this one. If you do get stuck, make sure to go back and review section one and section two of our course as I explain how to do all of the methods that are featured in this tutorial. So I'm going to show you from the very beginning how to create this. Go up to file and we're going to create a new canvas. I want my canvas to be 12 inches by 12 inches, so it's nice and large, we've got lots of room to create. 300 pixels per inch, I'm going to set it at RGB colour, and if you just leave all the settings the same as mine, hit create. Next I need to add all my art pieces. So the quickest way to do this is to locate your folder that has all your pieces in it. So I'm just going to drag my Photoshop in a little bit because I have my folder already open. I'm going to select some of the pieces and just drag and drop them in. So brown leaf, uh, double click and it will place your image. At cream buds, double click. And I'm selecting the PNG files because as you can see the PNGs have a transparent background to them. So I'm just dragging all the elements in and finding all the PNG pieces. I'm just going to Make my Photoshop large again. As you can see, this is a bit of a mess. When you're designing a floral arrangement, try to use maybe one to three main florals as a focal point. Any more than that, your design can sometimes look a bit cluttered. So in this case, I have only one main flower, it's the peach one, and I want to push this up to the top. So to do that, I'm going to locate it over my layers panel. So here I'm selecting peach flower, I'm just going to drag and drop that at the top of my layers panel. So here you can see it's now at the top. So I'm going to move it just a little bit lower. Also make sure to have your move tool selected when you're doing this. Next, I want these leaves here to be at the top. So to select them, hit control or command on your keyboard and then click on your mouse. And you can see that this soft green foliage has been selected. I'm now going to move this up and somewhere about here. You also want to think about how the arrangement is being created. You always want to imagine that it is blooming from the center. So the center of the floral is where you want the center of your foliage to come from. Next, I'm going to move these emerald green leaves. I actually like the position of these leaves. So command or control click and it will select it for you as you can see in the layers panel. I'm just going to drag and move it in a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to move these grey leaves out of the way. So command and control, I'm going to move these down. And move it about here. And I'm just going to move some of these elements out of the way so I can see a little bit clearer. I'm just pressing command and click and get these out of the way. Okay, I actually quite like the position of where this green stalk is. So I'm going to leave it here. Just maybe move it down a little. As you can see though, a little bit of the grey leaves are showing and it doesn't look very nice. So I want to select that and then move it right to the bottom. So just drag and drop that down on your layers panel. I'm also going to move it up a little. Again, you want it sort of flowing from the center of your flower. Now for my green leaves, I actually would like these a little bit bigger. So I'm going to select these. Hit Control or Command T on your keyboard and this will bring up your transform box. Here, holding down the shift key, I'm going to make these a bit larger. And I'm also going to rotate it a little bit. and drag it more to the center as well. I'm going to make these a little larger as well. So Command or Control T and hold down your Shift key. You can move these around. Double click or hit Enter or the tick at this top here and it will place your image. Okay, next I'm going to try these brown leaves. I'm going to place it about here. I think they're a little big, so Control or Command T, hold down the Shift key, drag it in, move it to where you feel comfortable, where you think it looks nice. 
then the tick at the top. I'm going to add this small flower. I'm going to add it coming in, just sort of sprouting from the top of the flower. Control or Command T. Rotate it around a little. And again, you can move any of these pieces to move forward or backward, wherever you think it looks nice. Going to add this wisp here, down at the bottom. Move it around a little. And next I'm going to add the cream buds. So if I move it up, I actually don't want my buds to be facing this way. I want something to come and face that way. So to change the direction of this, hit Ctrl or Command T on your keyboard again. This time right click and then flip horizontal. Now my buds are facing the right way or the way that I would like. I'm going to rotate it around. And I also want the buds to be in front of this green stalk. So I'm just going to move it up in my layers panel. And I want to make sure that it is not in front of the flower, but just underneath it. Okay, so now we have an arrangement that I'm quite happy with. So before we go any further, a really good idea is to save out your design. I always like to do this because it means that you can come back to it and edit at any stage. So first of all, go up to File and then down to Save As. I'm going to save it in my Projects folder. And here we can rename our project. So I'm going to call it Floral Arrangement. You can see that it's got PSD after it. If it doesn't have that, go down to Format and make sure that Photoshop is selected. Also make sure to check that layers are selected. So basically you're saving this as a Photoshop file, which means every time that you open it, it will open in Photoshop. When you open it, all your layers will appear just as it does here. So that means you can go in and edit it at any time. So save this out by selecting save. And this dialog box will appear and just hit OK. After it's saved, I'm now going to save it in a different format so that we can use this later on in different projects. I'm going to merge these layers first of all, and to do that, select your top layer, and then holding down the shift key, go down to select your bottom layer. All your layers will now be selected. Right click here, and go down to merge layers. Now we have one complete floral piece. Next, I want to crop this image so that we don't have a big space around it. To do this, we're going to use the Crop Tool. Over on our Tool Panel, select Crop Tool, C on your keyboard for short. Just click on this once and a dotted line will appear around your image. Move your canvas up to around your design. Use these arrows to make your canvas smaller and fit around your image. Once you're done, hit this tick at the top and now your canvas will be cropped. Now I want to go back to my move tool and hide my background layer. As you can see, now we have our peach floral arrangement on a transparent background. To save it out as a transparent image, we need to go up to file, save as, it should already be titled for you as Floral Arrangement. Go down to the format and select PNG. Next click Save. Just leave these settings as mine appear here and then hit OK. This means that if we go in to open a different file or if we're using this in a different application, it will not have a white bounding background to it. It will be transparent, which means that you could have a color behind it or you could have another design element. We're going to use what we've just created here in a future project, so I recommend following along with the steps, create your floral arrangement and save it out for future use.